In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make that iconic future bass synth sound in FL Studio using GMS. It's gonna sound like this. What's up my producer friends, it's David with anothermonsterproductions.com. So when you have GMS loaded up, the first thing that you wanna do is go to bases. Let's go to user and scroll down to default. This is just gonna get us a blank slate here. So by default, our oscillator one is already playing a saw wave and it's gonna sound like this. So I've decided to go ahead and do a little chord progression here and it sounds like this. So nice little future bass chord progression there. Uh, let's go ahead and start creating the sound. So I think the first thing I wanna do is go to oscillator two and let's try a saw mean waveform. And we'll just go ahead and bring this up an octave. So 12 semitones. And where it says mix here, let's bring this to about 50%. Now let's go ahead and bring the voices up to 15. And then let's bring the detune up just a little bit. Uh, the detune can really kind of change the way that it sounds. So this may be something you guys want to experiment with as you're, as you're making the sound. Go ahead and bring the stereo up to about 55% as well. Let's go ahead and go down to our LFO section here. Uh, let's bring the rate up to two to one, or one to two, excuse me. And then we can go ahead and bring our amount up. So now you're hearing that wobble sound, which is, you know, the iconic sound that, that we're going for. And in order to get this sound a little bit, I guess, more wobbly, let's mess with the cutoff here in our filter section. So we're gonna bring this down. I'm gonna bring it down to like 25%. Uh, and basically what this is doing is because our LFO is linked right now to the filter, that means that when we bring the amount up on our LFO, we're filtering out less frequencies. So. Sounds fast, I think I... Oh, because I forgot to change this to beat. So make sure you change that to beat. Let's also make sure we hit the re-trigger button. It's just gonna make sure that it starts back from the beginning of the particular LFO cycle every time it hits the note. And then let's also go to our LFO two. And again, we're gonna go to one to two. Make sure you hit beat. Uh, let's bring the amount up. Let's just go all the way. Again, hit retrigger, and then let's go to level. So instead of being linked to the filter, it's actually linked to the volume or level. And now, just gives it a little bit more modulation in the in the way that we want it. So potentially you could make this future bass sound with just one LFO, just modulating the level. Um, but I found that doing it this way with the two LFOs seems to be sort of the best combination. And then we can mess with the cutoff and amount here and just kind of automate that. We can also automate the rate and get some pretty cool sounds. Let's go ahead and move on to our effects section here. And we'll just add a little bit of reverb. <laughs> So again, this is kind of a personal preference thing. Uh, just find the, the place where you like the reverb. You don't necessarily need reverb on the sound, uh, but for this particular sound, I kind of liked it. And then we're adding a little bit of distortion to kind of brighten up the sound a little bit. Let's go into our EQ section over here as well and just kind of bring the lows down, bring the semi up, middle up, treble up, high up. All right, so that's a pretty standard uh, wobbly future bass sound. But this particular sound that I really wanna get is more of a immediate hit. And in order to do that, I wanna change this wave shape of the LFO uh, one to this sawtooth wave here. And this is just gonna make it hit immediately. So it's gonna sound like this. It 
this is really just dependent on the sound that you're going for in your track. But I really like this sound a lot. So this is kind of the direction that I would go to, uh, I guess, kind of deviate from the norm a little bit. So again, just experiment with the cutoff over here, experiment with the LFO. You can, you can mess with the rate and the amount and automate it. You can experiment with different effects, experiment with some wave shapes. Like I mentioned before, experiment with the detune. Pretty much you can experiment with anything that we just messed with and pretty much just tweak it until you find the sound that you like.